All right, guys. Turning out to be a fine day after all here in the great state of Texas. 48 degrees in the uh, shithole of Bull Verde, Texas. I have found myself in Bull Verde, Texas shopping for auto parts. So uh, I just spent $200 on stuff to fix a truck that's not broken. So what I decided, here's my brilliant idea, guys. Yes, it is uh, Tuesday, January 24th, 2023. So I have not, you know, since I drive a Toyota Tacoma, which I bought in the spring of 2019. No, I bought this truck in the spring of 2018. It has 160,000 miles on this truck. 160,000 miles. There is nothing wrong with this truck. I have a tiny, tiny little brake fluid leak. But other than that, this damn car is driving like a new car. It's 2013, so it's 10 years old with 160,000 miles on this Toyota Tacoma. Uh, I am on the original spark plugs. The transmission fluid has never been changed. The power steering fluid has never been changed. The radiator has never been flushed in 10 years and 160,000 miles this truck is driving like a new truck so uh, I had this brilliant idea that when I went off to Mexico and Belize that I would just leave the truck with a mechanic just to go through and do a you know a, a major uh, tune-up uh, I wanted the transmission uh, fluid replaced, the power steering fluid replaced, the brake fluid uh, replaced, I wanted the radiator flushed, I wanted the spark plugs changed, the air filter changed, the windshield wipers changed, uh, and the main drive belt uh, put on this truck. Now again, remember, nothing's wrong with this truck. But I just decided I'm going to be gone for a month, so I will get these things done. So I got not one, not two, but three estimates. Three estimates uh, for a tune-up to fix a truck that's not broken. Now, None of them were going to give me an estimate on this tiny little brake fluid leak, like four ounces every 2,000 miles. I suspect it's a bad seal in the front driver's side. So they couldn't give me an estimate on fixing that brake fluid leak, you know, until they tore the car apart. And I said, okay, I understand that. So what do you think the uh, what do you think the ballpark estimate is for w what I just said? Uh, I was figuring I was figuring I was probably looking at five hundred dollars, but you know I haven't been to a mechanic. I have not been to a real mechanic. I can't even remember before the uh, spring of uh, 2018 or 2019, whenever I bought this truck. 2019, spring of 2019. Uh, I, I cannot remember the last time I was at a, uh, a, a, a mechanic's uh, because I drive Toyota Tacoma. So I was thinking I was probably looking at five hundred to a thousand dollars to uh, get what I just said done. So what do you think, guys? <clears throat> uh, if your answer, I, I, I spent two hundred dollars. I have every drop of fluid that they need. I have all the spark plugs. I have the air filter. I have the drive belt. I, I, I have the damn windshield wipers. I have every single part, every drop of fluid 
that they need for this job is $200 between Walmart and AutoZone. So I got $200 into this. So what do you think if your answer was between $2,000 and $2,500? Somewhere between $2,000 and $2,500 to do a, uh, a, a tune-up on a truck that's running like a new car. Uh, Un-fucking believable. Uh, so I politely told all three of these guys to go fuck themselves. So I went and spent the $200. Now I am looking for a Mexican. I'm driving around Texas looking for a Mexican uh, who, who can do this shit for me. So uh, anybody out there in the listening area who wants to do this, I'm offering $500 to do this job. Let me know. But, uh, other than that, I got to get ready for my trip to Cancun, baby. Three days from now, I'm going to be on a plane to Cancun. Get out there and enjoy flying off to Cancun while well, you still can. Bye, guys.